And good morning, favorite neighborhood, Tyronin. And today we're going to be looking at the free upgrade, the IL-2 modified. It's a tier 5 fighter. We're going to take a look at the upgrades here real briefly. Of course, it's already fully upgraded. And it's 100% free with the right site and the right code. You'll have to go to the site and get your codes. I'll put it in the, the briefing. You should be seeing this about two days after I recorded it. Um, you get a total, of, just possibly get a total of five aircraft out of this. Five. So I would urge you to take advantage of that while you, the offer is still open. Please don't blame me if you get there too late. I specifically shortcut a... Uh, uh, production and rushed the aircraft uh, uh, review into uh, immediate production so it's out there if you subscribe to my channel you'll know it immediately if you don't subscribe if you do subscribe I'll let you know as soon as I know which is why we rush that out there if you don't like that if you want me to stick with the next day every day 8 a.m. and that's really important to you I've got to know that okay otherwise I will uh, rush a video out and uh, forego the next day's production uh, but you uh, uh, but you've got to you guys make that decision okay I don't um, I don't put this out for me me I put it out for you and so what's important to you is what's important to me so let's uh, carry it on from there all right um, survivability is excellent you can change that very quickly by doing things like uh, putting in the reinforced airframe the improved covering and the rear gun stabilization now I have one in depot why not put one out there um, let's take a look and see if I have anything else that I can just throw in there I've got an ordnance delivery site that's not terrible but you know what I would prefer to put in there, but I'm not going to do that because obviously uh, we're going to take the things that uh, I could put in there for free. It's a giveaway aircraft, and I'm uh, currently working on sixes, sevens, and eights right now uh, for my production schedule. And so, you know, I'll put in stuff that matters to the aircraft, but maybe are not optimized what i would recommend highly is the improved covering and the reinforced airframe um, but that's okay so with that we're going to get the um, 15 percent to effective firing range of the rear guns we're going to get an ordnance delivery site which um, gives me a 50 percent upgrade to uh, accuracy of bombs and rockets and additional armor plates, which gives me, uh, uh, reduces chances of pilot in, uh, injury and uh, to critical damage of the engine and rear gu uh, gun by 20%. So that's what we got in there. All right, so that'll handle upgrades. And let's talk about the range of your cannon, which is going to be... Uh, almost uh, uh, just over 2400 uh, feet all right okay airspeed is uh, 396 it's a ground attack aircraft I don't expect a whole lot maneuverability is 307 altitude performance is 1640 um, for those who've seen my uh, previous uh, uh, runs on uh, the IL-2 and IL-2T, this is familiar territory to you, but this is a new aircraft, so we're going to review it. Uh, the, the pilots don't have, and we're going to don't have enough points yet to dump anything into. Uh, what you want to dump it into is protection expert, and uh, for the rear gunner, you want to, uh, there's a couple of choices in there, that we'll go over that real briefly when I get back, when we get back from battle here. Uh, but I prefer the one that gives you 50% uh, um, reduction in time for your gunner to get on target because if you're not attacking the uh, 
the target is not helping you a whole lot. Uh, the DPS on the rear gunner is not spectacular. I checked that out too. It's uh, 40 uh, DPS per second. Um, but you know what? Uh, once a company is generous enough to give you five aircraft, that's... Uh, I just really don't feel like fighting a whole lot. I hope you can understand me. Um, and two of the aircraft have just been a gas. The SE-100 uh, is a heavy fighter, a very effective heavy fighter. Uh, good boat fighter killer, actually. And uh, the uh, XFL-1 is just a sheer joy, tier 5 fighter. Um Really don't feel like I'm playing at uh, World of Warplanes right now. And I bought myself out of JU-88 Hell. I had enough extra uh, free experience that I could turn with a little bit of gold. So I did. And got out of, got a, got my got, get out of jail card. Moved on to the uh, Measure Spent 265, which brings a great deal of joy to me. So we'll obviously be going after that command center first and foremost. Try to do a little damage there to see if we can have some luck with the team. And I'll try very hard not to make an idiot of myself, pull a tear and run into the ground. One thing that I thoroughly enjoy about the IL-2 series is it does not lack for ordnance. Now the two billboards and the uh, big aerodome up here, the big radar dish, are the things you want to hit quickly in case you didn't know and if you want to make your life a little easier wait until the uh, anti-aircraft gun comes into sight and just light it up till it blows up all right quite take care of it we'll have to come back around for one more bombing run and as you those of you who have any experience with ground attack aircraft know you get very little time on target before you are uh, a dog's lunch all right you do not want to let those ground attack aircraft survive very long and these two If you have left anything over from your previous attacks, you need to take care of them very quickly. All right. Now you'll notice he's trying to get on my tail, and there is a method to his madness. Because if he does, he gets the reward from hell. He gets every thing that I hit on his side. And boy, do I not want that. Okay, I'll keep the guy under attack. Uh, Self-defense fighter I might actually have a little luck with. I will tell you against most fighters you really don't. Okay, that gives us a chance to do a little more damage. Do not run into the pole. It doesn't give all, we'll give away all that easily. I'm always getting shot up. All the aircraft in the world are coming in to kill me. 
and so I'm not going to give it away with it much longer. And sure enough. I'll say it every time. If you want to win games, stop playing around with um, fighting other fighters over open spaces. It does not work. If you're not on the cap and actually defending something or attacking something, you're wasting your time. If you're not defending your ground attack aircraft when they go in to capture the cap for you, you're costing your team the game. Somebody asked me to put out a video. That's the short version of it. Examine how you are actually uh, handling it and yourself in the game. Uh, if you'll push down the Alt key like I just did now and you go into your settings and um, press the hold, it stays on. It helps you identify your ground attack aircraft. Uh, this will help you a great deal. Uh, if you'll follow them and help them out, even more. Soft targets. Take them out. They're cheap, they're easy, why not? If you miss one, immediately circle back. Get it as quickly as possible so that enemy aircraft do not get them. Or otherwise, they get credit for the ground attack and you don't. And that's going to suck. You notice I immediately get it and they cut. There you go. I just caught us the entire base. Other people contributed, but that was the action that did it. All right. You've now run out of everything. We need to go and get something. That's just unfortunate. All right, I will tell you something else. When it comes to the bombers, if you just absolutely have to engage them, engage them, kill one bomber, and go find something more productive to do with your time. Do not go from one bomber formation to the next. It's the most certain way I know in how to cost yourself a game. Go find a ground attack aircraft, follow it in, protect it while he takes your cap.
Uh, we're taking weak damage. I'm not trying to clash, climb, crash into the ground. Alright. We've already lost the game because of the earlier stupidity. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's hard to watch this continually. Now I've taken two caps and at the same time I've taken caps, the other team has uh, taken ca caps back on other sides. Now going after air bases normally isn't this very smart. I'm kind of hopeful that with the uh, damage that's taken I can take out one. Well, yeah, could happen. Alright, so we've done our bit obviously. Can't go up and fight fighters or, or direct the other team. Um, my teammates into doing the correct actions. You can only take so much responsibility. Still, it's hard to watch poor gameplay and keep your mouth shut sometimes. All right. Still, we made good money here. Got some experience, and we earned it. All right, so fun aircraft. If you want to learn how to fly uh, ground attack, uh, this is a good way to do it. It's not as harsh as the Ju-87, but uh, the ordnance makes up for an awful lot. The 20 millimeters for the ground attack rule are a little light. Uh, you can't take out hardened targets with them. With well, you can. And there, here's the way that you do it: you go to service, and you change out your standard to armor-piercing incendiary. Um, and that will give you some help. How much I don't know, but that might be a way you can get some more use out of your. Your cannon while you're uh, uh, waiting for your ordnance to reload, but primarily you're going to be counting on your ordnance to take out ground attack uh, or, uh, armored targets. Uh, so you're going to have to make your you get four bombs, you get uh, eight rockets. That's enough to to get you a, 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 a ground target or two. And if you go after SARF targets uh, quickly. You can actually get three or four, depending on how tough your opposition is. All right. So there it is. If you like the video, please remember to like it. Uh, if you don't like the video, tell me why. And uh, we need subscribers. I need all the subscribers I can get. I'll put that in there. Just uh, click on the J, and you can subscribe right on the spot. I'll talk to you tomorrow.